Yo, two, yo, yo, what is up, one. guys? It's your boy Siri, uh, aka Shield Boomer, aka Siri God. Hold on, whatever you want, to be honest. Uh, today we're gonna be covering Bolt of Valor, past 20, on a fortified bolstering storming thundering week. I don't know why I'm reading this when it says on the screen, but you know, just in case, you know, somebody maybe has a tiny screen or can't uh, read, or I don't know. I'll, I'll be reading it out anyway. Um, so yeah. Empower. This one is quite spicy. Uh, first big pull there you saw in prison. The reason for that is bolstering. Lightning breath. Um, pretty chill. E overall, this was it was pretty smooth. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I'm gonna try to walk you through like, Five, what I'm doing here four, and stuff. As you can see, three. I'm just trying to kind of like shuffle my, you know, as usual, uh, shadow. Lightning and, breath. Uh, Holy spells, I drop a pain up here on the tank because there was a, a lightning breath incoming from the dragon. Uh, and I'm saving the second one for the time when uh, the dragon will get bolstered. Even though he's a DH, he can tank or uh, he can fight for the most part, but lightning still, you know, breath. it's obviously it's better to use them than not. And I also know that I won't be needing it for the next boss. Well, shouldn't be needing it for the next boss, so. Um, I'm free to kind of use all my things here and uh, we can go into the next boss without any stress. Lightning breath. As always, I mean, you can see here with Bloodlust and stuff, did decent damage. Like, what was that? Like 35k by the end of the pull? It peaked higher, of course, but, you know, it dropped as well. And this is like without pot usage and stuff and probably some optimal casts. So pretty good, pretty good look for this and stuff. I, I really like uh, where damage works right now. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit, and here I just, I don't know why I didn't make this and dispel him earlier, four, I was being lazy. And was I casting, I was casting penance, wasn't I? I think I was casting penance. Still, th th that was dumb. Uh, should, you need to dispel this instantly on fortified weeks, but yeah. Um, this key used to be one of the hardest to time, so not one of the hardest to do, but one of the hardest to time. There was just like not enough time to finish this key, for the most Dancing part, unless blade. you're absolutely blasting. However, with all the recent nerfs and changes, this became a little bit less of an issue. Don't make, make, make no mistake, this key is still difficult at the time. It's, it's, just one, it's just one of those keys where it feels like there isn't any big points where you can die, but if you do happen to die somewhere, you've kind of lost so much time that it's not timeable anymore and these keys are very frustrating to play i honestly i avoid this key a lot if, if you have sweep. to farm anything from this key i honestly Dancing feel very blade. sorry for you luckily i don't really need anything from here i mean cape is decent and i might farm it at some point but i'm not a biggest fan of this key i tried it a couple of times on start of expansion i used to think this Dancing is the blade. easiest key but it turned out over time, as you go higher, it just becomes really hard to time it on Blood both things. But in tyrannical four, sense, there's a lot of things that you kind of have like a, lot of, a lot of things to do. And here, if you're playing in a group and stuff, I, I'd honestly recommend like you watch for the dragons as a healer because uh, uh, there's really not much going on here. There's only two instances of damage that are actually going off, and that is uh, obviously tank. I mean, tank Blood can get like, a little bit shredded by this. But I think if they're any like decently geared, like if they're decently geared and you know, Dancing how to blade. Use it, that's definitely um, Atonement is enough, is basically what I'm trying to say. You can throw like power, uh, like shield, Blood letting and sweep. That's it. Okay, Dancing more, blade. I think. Uh, the only other instance of damage is what's gonna happen like right Horn now. It's Horn of Valor. And that usually indicates, not usually, that indicates dragon is coming. So when that happens, he'll be up. One radiance into penance. Excuse me, penance. Shadow Covenant is enough. A couple of casts shouldn't take too much more than that. And then you can look around for the dragon. If you're, you know, on Discord with your teammates or something, call it out. If you're not. Holy Radiance. Look around for yourself. Don't be, don't be lazy, don't be a sheep. I lost keys to this. Empower. But people don't look. And then, you know, as I said, the, this key is very tight on time, guys. If you if you die on the first boss, it's gonna be tricky. Tricky to time. But yeah, here you can see me utilizing, like, I, I, I ramble about this route a lot because... Empower. It's a spell that kind of has Mortal gone Q. a little bit unnoticed by everyone. It's not very well known yet. And it's 
you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of um, what is it called? Shining Force? Uh, something like that. Our knock from Shadowlands, Holy right? Radiance. It was like one of those spells that nobody really thinks about, but it, it can it has so much utility if used properly, but it can also bring just as much good as bad. So you want to be very careful when you're using this route. It, 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 it is a good route. It, I've definitely used it, you know, on some things pretty good. Uh, but I have also seen it uh, do very bad things as well. And that that is not... That is not, um... That is not, um... Something that you want to do, right? You don't want to be using, uh, Holy using your abilities Mortal against Q. yourself. That is not, uh, not something you want to be doing. Rune I just zoned out so hard. Okay, that, that was weird. I'm too lazy to re-record this part, so sorry, boys. <laughs> she's gonna have to, <laughs> she's gonna have to accept it the way it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's Holy move radiance. on here. So yeah, I, I'm basically staying close here because I wanna like, obviously I don't wanna pull extra stuff, but I also want to sort of like be in position to fear when I can. And I like this tank. He, you know, it's bolstering, so most people would say. Well, bro, we're not gonna, you know, do big pulls because it's bolstering weak and uh, yeah, true. But by doing this, you just save a lot of time if you can survive it. Uh, of, of course, if you can't, then you lose a lot of time. Uh, but I guess that's how it goes in M+, right? If you want to push these, you have to take some risks. And I like, I, point is, I like this pull. I, I think people underestimate, like obviously this depends on your con. You gotta have in-depth knowledge about classes you're playing with and stuff. You know, certain classes just hard ex ex uh, 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 excel at like three targets, some excel at four, some excel at five, some prefer uncapped AoE. This is all like, I'm not, I know, I have knowledge of this, but I'm not in-depth, so I'm not gonna make any statements here and then later like, you know, be called out and like, I don't wanna spread misinformation, guys. I approximately know which, which specs excel at what, but this is Tank's job anyway, like for the most part. Uh, our job is to just kind of recognize who gets value out of PI and which pulls and stuff like that, so if you, if you can learn that at least by talking to DPSers or reading up other specs, then that's perfect. And you know, I'm gonna be the first one to admit I'm not gonna go into every dungeon and check every pug's spec and stuff like that and like Cleansing calculate you know Mortal who Q. has most value on PI. I just ask who do you guys want me to PI and then usually the in my Cleansing in my planes. like experience people are usually very very in M plus at least in raids it's an entirely different story but Mortal in M plus people are usually very respectful to each other they recognize you know that like okay Five, like four. You know, DK on army uh, I don't Mortal know, Q. like, uh, arcane Mortal mage Q. for bosses doing their first, or, uh, uh, hunter on true shot or something, you know, stuff like that. It's just, like, these are kind of, like, known things and stuff like that, you know. Uh, also, there are some specs which aren't, like, high in value on PI, but they still gain a lot of Mortal DPS, Q. and they always give their Blast CDs up. Light. But now, I personally, I, I don't like holding my PIs too much. Uh, there are exceptions to this though i will hold More pis in a scenario where i know i will need a More pi like not me but like i know i want something killed fast or there's a difficult or big pull incoming or a Blast boss right so i know like for example i'm not More gonna use you. a pi uh More after we kill the left guy you know and we pull the right guy i'm not gonna use it on the right guy because i know boss is incoming later and i know i will get much more value by you know going going, going for boss even on a fortified week uh, over Mortal you know Q. just one Blast dude right light. so because like most specs do more damage when there's multiple targets and plus at least uh, uh once again you know there are exceptions to this but i'm just talking in general and here you can just kind of see like we're being chilling and here i you know i saw mage pop cds so i just gave him this I, I don't know whether that was a mistake or not but i still did it anyway and uh, you can see here like i have the storm uh, and as soon as he cast the first eye of the storm, I decided to, uh, not I decided to, but he decided to pull the, the, the right guy as well. Sanctify. And uh, basically, you know, as long as you know you can kill the left guy, Solsten, I guess I'll just pull, out, pull them by their name so as to not confuse people. 
uh, as, as long as you know you can kill Solstein before he gets the second storm off, uh, I think this is perfectly safe. It does look a little bit scary and sketchy. You don't want him to be like, you don't want to have Sanctify in Eye of the Storm, but yeah. I also could have used the more there, Sanctify. but uh, I, I was a little bit reluctant because I know we have boss incoming and we're starting left, like bugs almost always start left. So, you know, I wanted to make sure I had CD for that, so I didn't want to be using like anything too big. And Eye of the Storm, honestly, like, this is pretty good right now at healing it. Before it was kind of sketchy, but I still man even before Fine. this, like, Shadow Covenant buff and stuff, I, 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 I successfully healed it, even on a Tyrannical Week, but not on a super high key, because I wasn't pushing that high back then. But, you know, as you can see, I like, you will see now, like, I'm just trying to build a, a higher discipline here. And then I'm popping Rupture, and, uh, you know, we have some Mind Blast. I shouldn't have cast that first mind blast there. I should have started off with schism, and that's what kind of put me behind. And I'm, Shield see, I'm trying to be kind of like scarce with resources. I'm trying to use just enough to get us through. I don't want to press all my buttons, and I think this is very important to learn. Now, make no mistake, I didn't do that perfectly. It could have been done better, but I, what I'm trying to say to you guys is like a principle of things is you can't overcommit. Of course, if you need to, you you will like. You're not gonna hold CDs for the next dungeon and or next how? season, of course. You're gonna use your tools. But you also, like, part of kind of like going up the ladder and pushing M plus is knowing how to not overheal, how to not overdo things. You need to, like, learn to get past certain things with as little of resources used as possible, just simply so you have resources for the next things, right? Uh, as you can see now, now I have no, no, uh, no pennant, uh, no rupture. But I do have Shadow Covenant, so I'm using my barrier, and I'm probably gonna pop my Shadow Covenant here. I should have popped my Shadow Covenant here. I don't know why I'm holding it this long. I guess I just wasn't uh, uh, that used to it, and here I used it a little bit later. Um, but that, as you've seen, like with barrier, that that pull is so chill. And uh, also, one thing you need to take into account is that people have their own defensives as well. So if it comes to it, if it comes to you having to like single target heal, you should kind of like realize this. So let's say like mage can alter time. Mortal Q. And then I'm going to put like paints up on druid and, and rogue, uh, rogue will get healed. Or, you know, rogue will, uh, I don't know, cloak or something. Uh, and then, you know, druid will get paints up and then mage will get healed Mortal and stuff Q. like that. So like, as I said, if you're playing with organized group or in a group which actually uses their cooldowns properly and stuff, you should not have Holy that radiance. many problems healing most of these things as this. Uh, in a 20, in 20s. Now I'm speaking specifically in 20s on Fortified Week. Uh, uh, you know, Tyrannical Week are a different story. Uh, still, still doable. Still, everything I said applies, but it's just a little bit more stressy and more you know. Q. Uh, obviously because the fights last longer you know you have to be more prepared on exactly when you want to use your cds and stuff um and here uh you know these guys oh he said loss yeah i actually didn't I don't think i've even seen that but i guess uh i mean most people know this right that you pull this back back here that's pretty normal standard it, uh, it kind of sucks being in a corner, you know, because Holy exactly radiance. because of this, you know, it's this, it, this circle and then if everybody's stacked Ruin in the, the corner, healing. sometimes I've seen like people get uh, the debuffs and touch, but honestly, if that happens, it's not, not a that big of a deal. You can just mass dispel. Honestly, mass dispel is, has a, a lot of value in this Mortal expansion. I, I, there's like so many dungeons where mass dispel is just so convenient. It's a real shame. Priest isn't like more meta, Ruin let's put it that way. There's like a bunch of places <laughs> where... Casting a mass dispel is like, oh, damn, I'm not, I don't even have to deal with this mechanic. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty nice, honestly. And, I mean, there's there's a lot of details like this, you know, where uh, Priest's utility comes to shine. I mean, Mind Suit was kind of big in a lot of places Mortal in the King. last expansion. I'm pretty sure we will find some more uses for it. And this one as well. At the moment, in the current keys we're doing, it's not really getting the most value. Like, maybe in Port of Stars, a little bit here in Halls of Valor, it can make certain things more convenient. But honestly, for the most part, uh, there's just not a lot of skipping options in most of these uh, keys. You just... Uh, you just mostly walk forward and clean stuff and uh, any kind of skips that are done. 
Like I can't remember any significant skips. Like maybe in Holy Radiance. Uh, Penetrating Azure shot. Vault, there's that one skip and uh Rune of Healing. I, I don't even know. I, I I don't know. Honestly, like knockwind offensive, you don't need to like skip anything. You like there are things you have to kill in order shot. to trigger bosses. And then other than that, you can just pick who you wanna fight. There is no like Radiance. need to walk around or anything. Uh, I feel like Blizzard kind of intentionally designed new dungeons to not require rogues and not require like even these potions and stuff. I mean, obviously you can still use them and it's convenient. I remember on the start of the expansion, rogues did use like shrouds for quite a few things, but overall, it's pretty chill. It's not really needed, you know, per se, whereas for a lot of dungeons in, in, in Shadowlands, I would say like rogues were pretty much mandatory for the shroud. Uh, plus invis potions and sometimes even that wouldn't be enough you know and players didn't really like having to use their battle potions for the invis rather than you know damage and here we get into like a little bit of a spicy situation and i can't really i didn't really react here properly i think mage will die here um i had to move from storming and i i, I don't know i just i guess i just wasn't Five, quick enough to kind of dispel four, three, i should have been quicker to dispel but I, I wouldn't say I panicked per se, but I didn't. I just didn't react properly on time. That's it. I, I could have definitely saved that situation. It could have been. It could have been better, but uh, I could have also used Desperate Prayer here and Fade and stuff like that. But uh, just a little bit, you know, boomer brain, I guess. At some at some points, you know, reacting a little bit slower and stuff. You know, it happens. Uh, but yeah, storming sucks. Shot. Honestly, like storming is uh, is, is annoying. Uh, it's not a very fun ethics to deal with when you're a caster it, it gets in your business and uh you know usually the rule of thumb is shot. you know what was it like marfi's law that says like if something can go wrong it will go wrong it's pretty much like that you know storming usually shows up at the worst possible time in the worst possible place <laughs> it's whenever you actually need to get a few hard casts off and like, that's when it happens because most of our hard casts we don't need to get them off like think of like all the schisms mind blast smites and stuff like we're not really required to cast them per se uh however you know we we kind of have to uh we have to cast them right for the most part but it's it's mostly like what i'm trying to say is like lightning breath you don't need to cast them it's not a life or death scenario for the most part but when it is then usually storming will pop out or volcanic or something like that or quaking it's a timeless classic everybody knows you know the timing worse than csgo timing i swear uh but yeah in preparation for fenrir i just want to say like this boss is kind of kind of stressful for this so you gotta be careful uh with the nerfs it's a lot more manageable with the nerfs the dots and stuff a lot more manageable but it helps a lot if your dps does this mechanic properly if, you're, if nobody's picking up like double stacks if nobody's uh doing any you know crazy shenanigans missing Unnerving soul hell. missing stuff like this um just just a lot of overall healing needed as you can see here and uh honestly this boss just kind of like requires people to be aware of when they need to stack and then spread and there's also a lot of cheesy stuff you can do like uh if you invis i think mage just invis there that's why he didn't jump the second time and honestly that kind of saved us unnerving hell because this this aoe could have killed us if he didn't um if you invis you can you can like not get it and break his his jumping sequence it's kind of similar to if you remember in in last uh, season in season four uh, there was a what was it called mechagon uh the lower one not junkyard but the other one i forgot what it was called but there's the the, the the boss that jumps right the the second boss he jumps and he like changed the sequence and if you break his sequence he just kind of like um stops jumping so you basically can break his mechanic and that's pretty cool and here i really played it risky because <laughs> You know, I I kind of like estimated they're not gonna jump that that soon, you know. And here I actually wonder how useful the root is. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it or not at the end. Uh, there you go, I used it here. 
But yeah, you can see if you root them, they're just kind of stuck there and they do nothing. Uh, that could be a way to deal with it, for example. I don't know if it prevents them from jumping and stuff, but yeah, Kira wants to check damage. And you can see, like, these wolves, they hit really hard. And this poor guy basically got one shot. I don't know, like, I feel like maybe there was a potential for me to react, but it was kind of hard to, you know, it was a hard thing to predict. I don't know. Uh, gotta be aware of it, especially on fortified weeks. As you can see here, I, I even put barrier to I mean, barrier is very strong on wolf as well. But on fortified weeks, the, I think these wolves are legit harder than the boss. At one time, I joined the key, and this tank pulled five wolves and the boss with lust. Five, and I was like, four, oh my god, this is three. so great. It's gonna be such a good time save. Surely this will work. And then we just got one shot, like a bunch of us. <laughs> we just all died in a second. And he was like, okay, it doesn't work. And then left the key and I was like, okay, of course, that's okay. okay, now it makes sense, it's not gonna work. I thought he has like some Unnerving secret health. tech where he's gonna break them or something, you know, and they're not gonna be jumping, but yeah, without, like, if they're allowed to jump freely, I mean, these wolves are murderous bastards. I don't know how people deal with them on higher keys, I'll have to, like, do some research on, onto that, but they basically one shot on 20, so I don't know. Just uh, hope you don't get RNG, you know, put your defenses on people, you can use Rupture, you can use the power for the bed. Uh, you know, just try your best to keep people alive as we usually do, right? At least we have power word life now, so if somebody drops really low, you can quickly get them back up. But also power. people need to learn to use their defenses better. Sometimes, I mean, me included, but sometimes like people will just not press the like, health bot and stuff. And you as a healer, you can't always react perfectly. Sometimes it's difficult. So five. Keep in mind how I saved three, the, the radiance there, two, by the way. There wasn't an accident one. that I didn't cast radiance instantly. I was saving it for the AoE. So we get a bigger healing there. This boss is not chill. This boss used to be stressful before the buff to this. It used to be pretty stressful to heal. But uh, now it's kinda chill. We just got like a lot more tools and shadow honestly. Honestly, Shadow Word Covenant, I'm not even utilizing it enough in this in these keys. It's something I need to get better at. Um, it's a little bit mana extensive, so I kind of like not like to press it on cooldown. But it's such a strong ability, and it also buffs your healing and damage, and it's just it's kind of like nice in general. Definitely recommend getting comfortable with using it. And here I was very confused because. This was silly of me. I just didn't think I uh, didn't realize I'll pull. And I'm I'm dealing damage here by the way because I want him to play. I wanna break here so he stomp. kills me. So I can go again. Because I thought we were gonna pull bears. I have never seen this route without bears before. Because I really like to do bears. I think they're like free percentage. I don't know why people skip bears. Maybe tanks get shredded or something. I don't know. But I never had that issue. And I've done it with the Guardian Druid before, so you know if Guardian Druid can tank it, then so can I don't know, everybody else, I guess. Although I guess it's different, right? The EH is a little bit vulnerable to physical damage, or at least it used to be. Maybe in this expansion it isn't. But luckily we didn't lose too much time. But this could have been bad, you know. It's a pretty silly mistake of me. So, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> probably. That's probably a bad idea to do that. Um, yeah, we're just, uh, Penetrating you know, just shot. killing here. This pool is pretty easy on healers. One thing you can do here is you can. Cleansing uh, flames. Well, honestly, there's nothing you can, nothing special you need to do. Just still damage. Just, Penetrating uh, shot. Cleansing flames. Could have paid a little bit more attention to the tank here, but just to focus on dealing damage. Um, Cleansing flames. I don't know. Demon hunters are usually pretty self reliable. Like as long as they don't get Cleansing one shot, flames. they're fine. They have a lot of leech. They can heal themselves up pretty nicely. Uh, usually it's enough to just give them like a shield or two and maybe occasionally heal them once or twice Crackle. and they're usually fine with that. But that goes, you know, most things are like that. Except Guardian Druid. Guardian Druid sucks. <laughs> I'm Crackle. just gonna say it guys, Guardian Druids. I don't know, I've played Charged with a pulse. couple of them this season Charged and, pulse. Charged you know, pulse. people expected them to be really good but they got nerfed a few times and now they're buffing them Crackle. back up again which is so weird but uh... Crackle. In general, I Crackle. feel like they're too squishy and they sometimes just get Crackle. clapped, they like die instantly. Crackle. No other tank has that, like all the tanks have like this kind of like 
charged pulse. Second life kind of thing where you know it buys you a charged little bit of time pulse. to react and stuff, whereas the bears just drop sometimes and you're like, oh, okay. And it's even worse if they're like the only battle res in your team. Because I mean, light. most of the people are used to playing with resto druids now, so they always have battle res, but in the kind of charged pulse. There's not that many battle res. You know, usually charged it's like pulse. these melee DPSers and stuff, so it's kind of cringe. Something Protective you need to kind of like get used to and stuff. Uh, this is why I went engineering and I Five, got myself a battle res four, last season. I did. And I told myself I will get engineering. Charged pulse. Like 50 times, but uh, I just never got around to doing it. But this season, I decided I'm committing to engineering, and ironically, engineering kind of sucks this season, so not the greatest, but it is what it is. Regardless, we're just gonna rest here and fly up. And here, you know, you can do that uh, beer trick. Uh, I've never done it personally myself. Uh, not exactly sure what you need to do. I think you need to talk to one of these guys while having like beer. Like you drink it first and then you talk to one of these guys and then you get them to uh, fight each other. Pretty useful, saves quite a bit of time, but I'm not really sure how hard it is to do. As you can see here, like it's pretty decent time save. You get two targets. I really yell. It's pretty nice indeed. Yep. It's super cool. You should always do this. These guys I'm are really just kind yell. of like chill. Since we have no interrupt, there's not much to pay attention to here. You just do your rotation, make sure you have like a moment. Thanks. Uh, one thing I noticed by watching these videos and stuff is uh, I really should uh, get more proactive with power word shield. Really yell. Five, I'm being kind four. of uh, really it's yell. laziness, it's more what's the word? Definitely ain't laziness, but it, it is somethingness. Uh, it's maybe I'm like focused a little bit too much on you know just like properly sequencing really, yeah. my Apoli and light that I, I I like to honestly as a healer like I like to deal damage especially in M plus in raids it's a little bit different but in, even in raids I think like the, the damage contribution is very important but a very underrated aspect of I think healer I'm really is, yell. Is doing damage but uh in M plus especially if you want to push you kind of have to do damage as a healer it I'm helps really a lot yell. you know doing 22k uh over uh, 40 minutes is a lot like, that ancestor. is that is insane amount of damage it's you know it's it's a big difference be between somebody who's doing like 5k or 10k or even 15k like these things matter they, they, they add up you know it speeds up things a lot you can even do math on how much it speeds up things but i'm too lazy to five do that. So four it will probably be pretty three, complicated and two, kind of dungeon dependent but you can definitely see that it does have an impact you know it doesn't it might not seem much it's like oh it's just healer damage yeah it is but it, it it adds up it adds up especially over time and yeah like boss here pretty chill once again one thing you need to be aware of is that this dot hurts so this guy has two two, two abilities that do actually deal some damage he has that like one single target dot and also he has that, like charge where he will charge and then people in the circle will get a debuff yeah this spell blaze rush it's a pretty ragnarok pretty painful one you do have to be a little bit careful there it's uh you know not to get like everybody hit with it and stuff one interesting thing that i think i'm assuming not everybody knows because i didn't for, for a long time um 
is basically when you're hiding behind a shield you don't need to be in the shield you can you just need to be behind it's like a frontal block so as long as you LOS the boss behind the shield you're fine so what that basically means is in order to prevent like everybody getting hit by the Hellblaze rush what you can simply do is just go further back and i think you should be the one that does it because as a healer uh, you can you know you can afford to lose that Savage little place. bit of like damage by moving and you're not gonna hurt the group too much whereas you know i wouldn't like to see like you know a form of moving or something so just be a lad you know move out maybe try to bait it if you successfully bait it i'm sure your team will be thankful for it and if they're not you know at least uh, you know you did the right play I'm not saying you should do it, I'm just saying like it's something to consider. And yeah, here you can see like the main blink at last second is pretty important. Um just uh the stability hurts as you can see. Like look, he's getting shredded. To be fair, mages are quite squishy, you know, weak lothy is very really squishy to a lot of things, but in general this dot is no joke. Don't underestimate it. This is fortified by the way. Imagine on tyrannical that's actually like a hard spot healing dot, to be honest. I haven't done this yet, but I can fight the Vanity again, so we'll, I guess we'll see soon enough. I think my highest is like 17, 18, so I'll get all 20s. I'll try to get all 20s done this week so I can upload and show you guys how to deal with tyrannical bosses and stuff. I'm pretty confident about most things. One thing that scares me is Nokund. Uh, and maybe, maybe second boss of Azur Bolt. Um, maybe. Maybe third boss of Ruby Life Pools as well, even after nerf, but it's still a lot of damage during the time where we have to move, so it's always scary. We'll see, we'll see. We'll get it done. I'm looking forward to it, you know, and if nothing else, it will be an, a learning experience, uh, you know. I, I have considered uploading, like, some... Uh, I wouldn't upload, like, failed keys, but I do want to, like, upload my fails. So we can kind of like look at them together and maybe you know, I'll learn something, but maybe you guys can see, you know, kind of how easy, not how easy, but like how things can go wrong and how easy it is to make mistakes and how, uh, Five, you know, four. Radiant Tempest. it's very, you know, a slippery slope playing WoW at high level, you know, one day you're, you feel like you're, I don't know, uh, you feel light. like you know you're good enough to play for echo and then another day Shatter you spheres. feel like you are uh, you know Runic lfr Brand. gamer i don't know it is Runic what it Brand. is you know consistency is hard to get in any game i can i can promise you that much and here very important that everybody gets to their marks like because there's not much we can do for them as this like the only thing we can do is like pop a rupture and like shield them before it but even that is like that, that probably dies in one fix so yeah people need to be aware Spear of that of you can, yeah, definitely this should put atonement sometimes i made a mistake there like one power with radiance right before marks i think it would do do like a, a lot of good Spear and then you light. can pop like mind bender and shoot the penance to get that like healing while you're moving towards your mark i, I think that's the play yeah you should radiant definitely tempest. be doing something you know just to help people sustain if you buy them one more tick you've done enough as a healer i think on this boss and if you're quick enough, maybe you get your Five, mark fast four, and then you can kind of light. like top them up really quickly and something or something like that. You know, it's, it's tricky spheres. though. This this mark situation is definitely like kind of like personal Brand. responsibility of people finding Runic it as soon as possible and just getting there as soon as possible. And here, as you can see, like we would definitely lost someone, but they would just kind of kill the boss and then we died to this mechanic, which is silly. Blizzard, like, why is this a thing, please? Like, after you time a key, you should not be able to die to a mechanic. Like, they should really add some sort of like immunity to damage or like that prevention or something like that or at least put graveyard after the key is timed put graveyard at the chest like why do i have to release now and run all the way back uh but anyway guys that's gonna be it for today's video i will show you uh the damage breakdown real quick it's gonna be right here in a second uh not that that's my chest <laughs> please stop exposing me um damage breakdown mod, mod check no there we go okay there we there we go all right guys thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it uh, you know if you like the content feel free to like subscribe you know hope to see you again much love guys good luck in your key adventures
Uh, thank you for watching the video. And I will see you around hopefully next time. Bye-bye.